Then you have the last one, which is T A B. And now we're going to take this, subtract this from here, and looking at zero minus zero, that's I. Then we're going to have this uh, 0 minus 3, that will be j. Then we'll have 0 minus 2.5, back with the k. Then you have the square root, then you have 0 square, negative 3 square, and then you have negative 2.5 square. So that's the uh, equations on forces, this will be, I mean, as the C, that's 5.64. This one here should be, so that's a D, so that should be 5.728. This one here, and uh, that's the B, that's 3.905. So now, now we got to go through the same step, that means we have to take all these equations, this is the equation 2, that's 3, and that's 4. You got to take 1, 2, 3, and 4, and you will place everything in this equation. So I'm going to skip all that, we just sum the forces in the x, we're going to sum the forces in the y, and we're going to sum the forces in the Z. Now if I do that, we get from here, we get 0.75 divided by 5.64 TAC. Then from here, we get negative 5 over 5.64 TAC. Then from here, negative uh, 5, then negative 2.5, 5.64 TAC. So these three components, 0.75, negative 5, and 0.25, all of that became this column. Let me go here. <coughs> we have negative 1.25 TAB divided by 5.728, then you have negative 5, 5.728, TAB, and there is one more, which is negative 2.5, TAB. So all three of these became this column. Then from here, there is a zero for the x, then you have negative 3 over 3905. That's the. So this should have been D, B, and D. And now we're looking at the T, A, B, and negative 2 over 3905 T, A, B. So that's just the forces broken up into components. There's one more force here, and that's the W, and that will show up in the Z, was 4095, and this should go to zero when it adds up. This should go to zero, and this should go to zero. So you have three equations, and you have three unknowns, TAB, TAC, and TAD. Now, <coughs> If you go through the solution, you'll have TAB, you'll have TAC, and you'll have TAD. This one comes out to be 6320 Newton. This one comes out to be 10400 Newton. 
this one comes out to be negative 19 to 0 0 Newton so <coughs> this is positive when you close the calculation so that's tension this is positive that remains in tension but this came out negative the assumption was that it's in tension so what we could do is we could change the sign to positive I could say this is 19 to 0 0 and it's a Newton and we change this to compression so instead of the force going like this the force is going to be in it. 